So we were talking about how we live in this very like fast paced technological age where we're consuming more information than we've ever had. There's more noise than ever before. And we as creatives, as entrepreneurs, have this thing inside of us to go, 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 to create, create, right? As we're consuming, we're creating, we're trying to you know, put content out. But we oftentimes overlook one of the most essential things that we need as people, which is silence, quiet time, and the need to slow down, the need to reflect. If you're a person of faith, you, you probably refer to this as your quiet time. I watched one of your videos and you described this concept that you read in a book. And it was like, I would like pull out my phone right away. I'll be fill out my phone. <laughs> it started taking notes on this idea that you broke down. Explain it to me. What's it done for you personally? And, and, and yeah, and just, and just speak on that. Yeah, it was uh, The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. Mm. This book was a game changer for me at that moment. Okay. I gave it to a couple other friends. I think it just missed them. I don't know. If, <laughs> you know, you got it. Books for me were like, you got to read it at the right moment yeah. when you're ready to read it. For yeah. me, it was like kind of that time where I was like, man, there's a lot of things I want to accomplish. Yeah. I'm not getting things done. Yeah. Let me read this. And then it made me feel mad uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, it started pointing stuff out. I mean, it's called Miracle Morning. I'm not the morning person. For most creatives, we're up yeah, I'm till not, I'm not a 2 a.m., yeah. you know what I mean? Going yeah. to bed at 2, 3, 4. Yeah. This is getting you up at 5. You know, yeah. now it's it's just so... Plus, on top of that, I'll be the self-proclaimed king of snooze. I was good for a good <laughs> 9 to 12 average snooze hits on yeah. my alarm, yeah. um, which now is down to, you know, me just waking up almost by myself at 4.50 mm. in the morning. Crazy. With like, no alarm? No alarm beating my alarm like it's weird wow. but the it it points out these savers it kind of broke it down in savers okay. silence affirmation visualization exercise uh reading and scribing yeah and the power of doing all of this stuff before your day begins yeah you know you've already now game planned and gotten yourself right and that mm -hmm. silent time i mean look at the silence just for a moment yeah and the awkward almost feeling, you're like, right, oh, right, what happened? Right, right. What happened? What went wrong? Right. So now just silence your mind, close your eyes for yeah. like, you know, a few moments as your day starts. Yeah. And it just helps, it helps me yeah. in just centering myself, getting myself together. Yeah. And I think a lot of it too, affirmations, visualizations, yeah. those are big words that you're like, bro, what is that though? Yeah. This book really helps explain it. Yeah, it and, it and I think like for me, I had just read a study and they said, you know, the average person spends 24 hours of their day within two feet of their phone. You know what I mean? That like, we're always right there, ready to pick it up <laughs> or ready to consume something. And just sometimes that pleasantness of silence and just unplugging and just, just thinking the affirmations. I think a lot of times people overlook the need to affirm mm -hmm. yourself. You mm -hmm. know, uh, I have a list of things that I learned in my men's skills class that I, I try to do it every day. I, I'm not super disciplined, in it, but just speaking over things, you know what I mean? Like I'm I'm, uh, I can do all things through, through Christ who strengthens me. I can do, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I have a, I have a uh, solid mind. I'm stable. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know what I mean? Like I can be gracious to people and mm -hmm. forgive people. Speaking these things over me helps a ton. The affirmations, I think we just don't understand how much that helps. Here's the thing too. It's kind of like we program our YouTube channel. We program programming is, is all around us. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just programming our mind as the day starts. Yep. A conversation I've had with friends is like, you know, when you start the day and you're like, oh, I slept in. Yeah. Alarm is now I'm behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now as that day Your whole as day is off to a weird start. And everything is going to point back to why today's a bad day. Yep. You yep. know? <laughs> uh visualization. Visualization. Explain that because I think that gets that gets a little weird. I get it because mm -hmm. I'm I'm all about visualizing before I do a show, I visualize how that show is going to go. I visualize the execution of the show. I visualize the first thing I'm going to say. That, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So I'm big on visualization playing basketball. Bet. I'm big on visualization. Bet. Not necessarily every play, but the visualization of winning the game. Mm -hmm. You know, So I'm big on it. But for some people, that may sound weird. Like, what do you mean? What, do you, what does that even mean? Everyone's heard the term vision board. Yes. I feel yes. like they have vision yes. board parties yes. now and everything. Like, it's yep. crazy. Like, so it's kind of... You know, and sometimes people say, put the dream house that you always wanted up there. Mm. And for me, like the vision board could be simply your idea. Mm. Like write that on a board and, and put it there. Everything on that board, you're going to visualize it's going to have meaning to you and you're going to see it yeah. now in some shape or form. Even if it's just text, it yep. doesn't even have to be a photograph. That's good. The visualization of seeing this, this is what you want, this yeah. is what you're going for and yeah. seeing it constantly. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, visualization and then exercise. Exercise. Which is kind of self-explanatory. Correct. Right. I think 
maybe if people don't know, when you exercise, you're actually creating chemicals in your body that right. are killing the cortisol, which is creating the stress, creating the pressure, right? Killing cortisol, increasing your dopamine levels, incre increasing all these other levels. So you're chemically in more line by just simply getting out and being active. Yeah, and I'm not talking, you see them, you see it's not that way. This is bust a sweat. Yeah. Bust a sweat. Go on a walk. Yeah. Yeah. Make Instead that. of <laughs> driving to the fast food place, go walk to the <laughs> Walk fast. Walk fast as you can. <laughs> so that, that's pretty self-explanatory. And then what's the last one? Uh, reading. So then we got okay. reading. Um, and that's really pick up whatever. Yeah. Pick up something and feed yourself something. Mm -hmm. Read something that's going to give you value. If it's a yeah. curiosity, if it's a story, yep. if it's a somebody you look up to and they wrote a book, yeah. read that. But yeah. just feed yourself something in the reading. And the last yeah. one was scribing. Yeah, was journaling. Journaling. Yeah, I, something I do is the um, the five minute journal. There's uh -huh. the app, and and it's super simple. And you start out every morning. There's a physical version too. And you start out every morning and you do three things that you're grateful for. So before you're even, you know, doing a bunch mm -hmm. of, you're, you're reflecting, you're, you're, mm -hmm. what are you grateful for? Three things you're grateful for. Visualize three things you want to accomplish today, right. right? So you write down the three things you want to accomplish and then write in one affirmation. And so for me, just doing that every morning, the scribing, and I do it on my phone. I really mm -hmm. think I should get a physical version to write in because I feel like I'm kind of back into being in the matrix. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Back to being distracted. But what is the, what does scribing look like for you? For me, it's really, it's my phone, yeah. um, but it's a letter to my son. Like mm -hmm. I just, I've been writing it to him since he was born. It's in my phone. Like just kind of talking to him about pops and what dad is up to and what you up wow. to and how he's messing up and yo, you better quit lying. And yeah. so he's going to get to look back whenever he's old Ooh. enough to be like, yo man, What's here that? bro, check out your pops thoughts on you every and what day I was do, up to. You do write one of these yeah. every day. Wow. Have you ever, you ever did the future me email thing? No. So there's a thing where you can send a, a future email to yourself in like a year it's called the thing it's called future me there's an app so you go and create an account and then you can say hey i'm gonna send my email myself myself an email in six months <laughs> myself an email in a year in two years or you could send somebody else an email right. in a year or two years oh i dig that yeah so that's something you could potentially set up you yeah. know send your son create an email for him and actually start sending him emails oh that's right you know what i mean so that when he's 15 16 whatever mm -hmm. you know you can go back so Man, that's dope. Is there anything we're, we're leaving out and, and forgetting as we're just encouraging people to take time to slow down and, yeah, and just relax? Yeah, I think it was really just the silent time for me and and the affirmations, you know, are really, really key. The exercise, that's just going to get your whole day popping right. Like, I've mm -hmm. never felt yeah. m like I'm moving the right way. You know what I mean? You can take on more and then all of a sudden it's noon yep. and you're like, man, I've had like a whole day yeah. done yep. behind me. Yeah. And yeah. That's good. That's good. So make sure you're subscribed to my man, Chris Losa's YouTube page. He has some really cool content there. Subscribe here, like this video, share this video, because I know there's so many of your friends that probably need this. Uh, what's a question you have for them to leave in the comments section? We get in there and mix it up with Questions them. and comments. Um, let's see. I want to know what your toughest struggle with would be morning-wise. Mm. And then if, you know, I think I might be able, trust me, Self-proclaimed king of snooze. Probably, <laughs> or, 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 or that comment. If you're having a hard time figuring out how to do it, yep. I might have something to help with that. That's good. That's good. Dope. Peace out.